So the other day I was thinking to myself, it's been a little while since I have done a review on a crappy, odd, cheap um, gaming device. And today we are going to rectify that problem by taking a look at the IE Geek Portable EVD. Um, <laughs> I don't really know what that is, it's just a bunch of letters and words sort of jumbled together, um, whacked in a box and then advertising that it features a, um, a colour TFT LCD. Whenever you see something um, like that on a box, it means it's, it's a Chinese knockoff cheapy product. But anyhow, big thank you to John who has lent this to me uh, for a review. So let's take a quick look at the box. As you see there, it says IE Geek Portable EVD. Um, obviously, it just looks like a DVD player. It's got rotation of 90 degrees and 180 degrees for complete portability. They've even said that twice because obviously it's extremely important that, that a portable DVD player is portable. Um, at the bottom it says it does TV, FM, radio, copy. Maybe you can burn discs. I don't know what the copy means. Uh, DVD, game. That's the one we care about. Text, photo, SD slash MMC card. USB and 3D movies and it advertises MP5. But as you can see right there, that's what we are interested about. That is a gamepad controller. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what is inside. It says that we've got the uh, the red one there. And there's a bunch of different models. 9.8 inch screen. So this should be interesting. Here we go. Righty, there it is. Looks like a super, super cheap little thing. Weighs absolutely nothing. We've got a manual, we've got a small little disc, and then we've got a bunch of cables. Okay. Oh my God. The spongiest buttons known to man. Literally rubber buttons, but with so much travel that it's unreal. Like, oh dear, that is awful. Funny though, I like it. It's got a car charger, we're not gonna need that. It's got an aerial, it's got an AV cable if you wanna plug it into a TV, although hopefully we're not gonna need to do that. There is a remote, which we'll probably need. Is there any batteries in here? Nope, AAA batteries. We've got a charger or a mains adapter, and then we've got Super Game 300, which says not for sale on it. So that's gonna be uh, interesting. I imagine that's gonna have all the different ROMs on here. And then we've got the manual. Let's quickly flick through here, see if we can find a gem. <clears throat> before process, before shipping, all batteries have not enough power. Please put the DVD Connect DC charge. The DVD will charge by itself. The red light means charge not enough. When full charge, the lights will be green. Then you can play the DVD when you on trip. So this is actually what we care about right now. We have the DVD player by IE Geek and surprisingly, John hasn't taken off the screen protector. How could anybody not take off the screen protector on this? Because this is a fantastic little bit of equipment. Um, okay, yeah, so we do have complete swivel portability right now. I don't really know why you'd want it to, to do that, but it's gonna make it very, very easy for me to film. So yeah, pretty, uh, average you've got these sort of chrome looking buttons to make it look metal and I guess when you look at it from a sort of distance it doesn't look too low quality the screens heavier than the bottom so it's sort of having a tendency to tip over we've got an open uh, for the for the DVD here and you've also got a finger hole in case that probably breaks or something um, lots of different buttons on the front and uh, yeah pretty much that's about it on the side we've got an, an SD card we've got another USB slot Headphone, AV out and AV in. Okay, maybe you can use this as a natural monitor. On and off, power, um, TV, aerial at the back, and that's your lot. And then you've got the IR for the remote. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, we're not messing about. Um, I've set this thing up. The cable is honestly like a metre long, so I've actually had to move my um, extension lead onto the desk. Uh, we're not going to mess about though, as I said. Let's just get straight into some games. Okay, so we're straight into Super Mario, and this has got to be the worst Super Mario um, I have ever seen. The, the frame rate is literally about 8 frames a second, if, if you're lucky. Uh, the response time on the, 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 the controller is so low. Like, 
so, so low that the, the sort of latency between pressing and actually moving is just unfathomable. Honestly, that is painful. Let's see if they got Bomberman right. I really, really hope they do because this game would be, you know, a real, real shame to butcher because it's quite a fun one that everybody knows. Uh, it's quite difficult to play this looking through the uh, the viewfinder. So let's see if we can just... Let's just try and kill one guy. No. No. Oh, come on. No. No. Okay, I'm going to cut him off over here. Here we go. This is it. No, no, it's not. Right here. Yeah. No. Yes! No, wait. Yes! One more game. We'll just play a little bit of Contra because uh, that is literally featured on every fake NES ripoff clone ever. Some games seem to have volume, others don't. Which is always nice. Oh dear. It's just so, everything's just so sort of choppy. Wow, that's really, really loud. Everything's just sort of so choppy. The screen quality itself isn't actually too bad. It's sort of, you know, choppy. It's playing it in a 16 by nine aspect ratio as well. But it is just so laggy that it's like, it's really, really nasty to play. Really, really nasty to play. Let's see how it actually functions as a DVD player for anybody interested in that. Okay, so here's a little bit of uh, Jarhead to see if it actually works very well as a DVD player. Let's go ahead and just turn it on on the side. Hello? Okay, it's reading. Here we go. This is it. Moment of truth. It's not exactly portable, right? Okay, yeah, that's working. Yeah, that works, but it's not portable. Am I missing something or is there no rechargeable battery? Built in super strong lithium battery, playing for two hours. I'm also getting a burning smell, so I don't think that lithium battery is working anymore. As a DVD player, it does actually work, I guess. Good job. It doesn't look too bad. It's like 480p. Okay, yeah, anyway, that's enough of that. So, what do I think then of the DVD, E-DVD, uh, IE Geek Portable EVD? Avoid, completely avoid. I mean, you can't buy this thing anyway. Good luck trying to find one. And if you do, just don't waste your money. Thank you very much, John, for lending this to me. It's the worst. It is the worst console I've ever played. That, that D-pad. Honestly, this D-pad alone, the travel and squishiness of this button, oh, Jeez, that is painful. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Catch you in the next video. Peace.